what's up guys monster dino reviews welcome back to another video now it's finally time we start reviewing the dreadnoughtus so as you can see here this figure is five feet long which means it's actually going to be longer than my background uh, cabinets here so let's get this thing open and we'll find out how big he is how he looks i mean i can tell he's going to be massive just looking there so yeah nice packaging on it we can't actually see the figure uh, on the side it just says what he does so you can move the head and tail and yeah again on the back we just have a, a nice shot of him really nice box art i have to say let's get this up right yeah the packaging is great okay let's get him open so i'll just put a score on here and down the side there we go Love it when it goes straight away like that. And just a little bit to score down here. So it looks like he comes disassembled. And oh man, this thing is massive. I don't even know where I'm going to display this, guys. It's so big. It's going to have to just sit on the floor. And we have a headpiece here <laughs> and just look at the size of that that's about a foot and a half just as it is now i do like the fact that i don't have to take anything off you know that usually has uh, cables ties and straps around it so it's all just sort of click and play really which is cool and we got uh i think that's just the tail tip and even that's huge so yeah it just really does give you a sense of scale for just how big these herbivorous dinosaurs were so that's about it in the pack. Let's just start assembling him then. So we'll start with the body. Just take this strap off here. Strap the tape. And there we go. Oh my God, this thing is huge. It's quite light for the weight of it. It's still heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's, <laughs> look at the size of it. And yeah, we've got some articulation on the feet. It's very hollow, you can hear it. In fact, you can see it's very hollow. In terms of the paint apps, every, just everything is just magnified, even the scales. So I've never really had a toy like this before, not to this sort of scale. So this is a first, which you can probably hear in my voice but how surprised i am now we've got some really nice striping on the top of the body before i do a full paint review let's um let's get everything assembled but yeah the same cream beige is matched on the bottom or well, it's actually more of a tan so that's the body now we'll do the head i think But I really do just have to find somewhere to display these figures because um, at this size, you can already see that it, this is only half sized right now. Okay. And just the last piece of tape here. So yeah, I've been putting this off just because I thought it'd be more complicated to um, actually assemble and whatnot. But it looks fairly simple, guys. So, that's the head. Now, you can see there's a big pin here, much like when we assembled the tails on some of the other dinosaurs. And it does look like it's got some articulation to it. So, it's a cross-type design, or a plus-type design. And I'll just plug that in now. There you go, a nice snap to that. Um, I've just seen something with the head and I'm a bit gutted. It doesn't look like, God, he is so big. It doesn't look like we've got any head articulation here, guys. There's no, the mouth should, I... oh wait, hold on a minute. It's just a bit stiff. Of course, we do need that. It's like that scene out of Jurassic Park, you know, when he's on the trees and the Brachiosaurus is there. Um, I need to look into the Dreadnoughtus. I think it's even bigger than a Brachiosaurus was. This might be the biggest dinosaur ever. I know that uh, years ago we had something called a 
Sora Poseidon, maybe it got reclassified. I need to brush up on that, like I said. Yeah, this toy is just immense. I mean, I'm going to have to zoom out. Yeah. In fact, we're not going to need the platform because... I'll use that when we try and do a uh, attempt to do a spin on him, but let's just move that now. Okay, let's get the rest of him assembled. So I'm going to prop him up against the backdrop here while we get the rest. Yeah, he won't stand. He needs that tail for counterbalance. Okay. As I was saying, I mean, just, just kids' toys seem to have... Uh, taken an unexpected turn these these years later years uh, when i was a kid a big toy would have been about a third the size of this so it just shows you right okay here's the tail it's almost as long as the head and let's go plug in here as well it's actually the same sort of uh it's just twice the size so a nice firm peg put this in here Why does that not look like it fits? Something's off about that. That doesn't fit the uh, the shape. Unless I'm doing something wrong here. There you go. Yeah, it just seems to be like one where you wedge it in. So it's going to be hard to remove this. Some tail articulation. And just the final piece to actually assemble, guys, before we take a look at him. In fact, I can do that by my hands. Okay. And just a long tail tip. And we get this one in here now. There we go. All right, so he's fully assembled. Um, yeah, this thing is just absolutely gargantuan. It's it's enormous. Even the, uh, the little scanner thing is huge on his back. So, yeah, it's it's just, you know, like it says, five foot plus. Um... This is almost like as tall as a person laying down. Over here. Yeah. It's stretching, you know, half the size of this room. I'm not even sure. Um, I think it did say, yeah. Uh, yeah, five plus feet, so it's actually over five foot. I just gotta work out where I'm gonna display this. I think I'm just gonna lay it across the room over here. Um, but yeah. Now let's take a look at his articulation. So as I showed you earlier, the feet move backwards and forwards. For such a big slow dinosaur, even if a kid was playing with this, they, these things do not move fast. They're like a, an elephant magnified. So in terms of the head, can we lift it up? I think it's actually fairly set to being this longer type design. Uh, so you cannot move the head upwards and downwards like a Brachiosaurus would which is obviously the giraffe of the dinosaur world. Um, yeah, we have some nice articulation here. So the head moves forwards and backwards. I'm a bit gutted that we can't move this up just a little bit. It looks like, yes, it does look like we've got a joint here. To do it, it's just, it's either too stiff or it doesn't move. Ah, oh, yeah, it's very stiff. How would a kid move that, honestly? There we go. We can move his head up. Oh, that's awesome. That that uh, reduces his carbon footprint a little bit. Old dinosaur joke. So, yeah, um, on the tail here, again, forwards and backwards. And the tail tip just twists. It's annoying that I'm having to, like, do this in parts. It's like a, a segmented video, just like this segmented dinosaur. So, yeah. There you go. You can move that forwards and backwards. Paint apps are really nice. You know, it's it's like a dark grey, dark blue um, with orangey gold tiger striping over his back. 
and those are just nice coordinated colors so yeah really do approve of that as i was saying on the underside this tan goldy sort of color carries all the way up the figure but we don't have it on the tail which is fine you know it could go could have gone all the way under um but yeah actually just a really nice massive figure i mean this thing is huge so we're going to get some stuff for scale now Okay, so here's a bunch of different dinosaurs that could have existed around the same sort of time as these massive herbivores. I know Spinosaurus did because it, it was around the same time as the Carcodontrosaurus and um, there was big herbivores at those times. I think it may have been the Jigger that I actually want because those apparently work together in packs to take down these big super herbivores. But yeah, there's the Spinosaurus against him. And this is, you know, this is a big size figure. And you can tell it's just absolutely dwarfed, but the scale is great. You can actually really get a good feel for what it must have been like, you know, because a person would have been around this sort of size. So, just humongous. Now, here's the Hammond Collection T-Rex next to him. Hammond Collection T-Rex is just a slight bit bigger. And it's almost like a migration sort of thing going on here. And here is the Indominus Rex. Uh, now, if you saw the movie, you'd have seen that the Indo uh, Rex would have probably tried to eat this thing. I don't know if it would have succeeded because of the sheer size of it, but it would have tried, surely. And finally, let's get the Jigger down and we'll compare him to. So there's your regular size Jigganotosaurus. And I think it would only be fair if I got the big jigger down and we put him at the back. So I'll do that now. Okay. Here's the other beast in my collection, guys. The massive jigger. So this guy is roughly... In fact, actually, you know, the, the jigger is about two-thirds of size maybe just over half so he's getting covered completely by this figure so let's um let's do a top down we'll have a look okay there's a top down perspective you can see my foot and i have big feet uh so there's the jigger next to him uh, there's my foot for scale that's uh size 11 us so yeah just look at the size of this thing I have no idea where I'm going to display this. We'll figure it out. Once again, just for the sheer scale of this thing, just look at the size of it. I've only just found the room to set up the spinner for this model so it just takes up half the room especially if it's uh it's been stopped already by my light especially if the neck is posed downwards
All right, guys, well, I think that's going to be it for this review. It was a bit of a long one. I'm sorry. It's such a massive figure. It deserves a big review. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Okay, I found the room for him up here by just moving the big jigger space and then arranging it. It looks quite cool up there, actually. My Therenzinosaurus up there. And yeah, on the other side here, guys, I have these displayed like this. So my jiggers are there. There's a mini fish tank with the T-Rex head in it. Um, I do need to put that plant back in there and sort of scrape that out. But yeah, um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is move the jigger up here. So guys, this is going to be the end of this video, and I just wanted to show you how I've got the room displayed at the minute. So this is the best I could do with the space I've got at the moment to work with. And yeah, I've got the jigger up there. Everything looking pretty good. Let's get some lights on in here. Yeah, nice little uh, tiny studio workroom. It's not actually that small of a room. It's about 12 foot or something like that, but... Yeah, it's just one of the smaller rooms I've got in the house to work with. And that's where my dinosaurs and other toys are going. So, yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. See you later.